Sleep paralysis is a phenomenon that affects millions worldwide, myself included. My experiences with it have been nothing short of terrifying, each episode more haunting than the last. But there's one occurrence that still sends shivers down my spine whenever I think about it. It was a typical night, or so I thought. I had gone to bed feeling exhausted after a long day's work, hoping to catch up on some much-needed rest. As I drifted off into sleep, little did I know that I was about to enter a nightmare unlike any other. I awoke suddenly, my body frozen in place, unable to move a muscle. Panic surged through me as I realized I was experiencing sleep paralysis once again. But this time felt different, more ominous. I tried to calm myself, reminding myself that it was just a trick of the mind, a glitch in my brain's wiring but no amount of rationalization could quell the rising sense of dread. That's when I heard it, a faint whisper, barely audible at first, but growing louder with each passing moment. It was a voice, low and guttural, like a language spoken by creatures from the darkest depths of the earth. I strained to make out the words, but they seemed to slip through my grasp like smoke on the wind. Then, out of the corner of my eye, I saw movement, a shadowy figure looming in the darkness, its form twisted and grotesque. It seemed to materialize out of thin air, its eyes gleaming with an otherworldly malevolence. I wanted to scream, to run, but my body remained paralyzed, held captive by the invisible shackles of sleep. The figure drew closer, its presence suffocating, its intentions unfathomable. I could feel its icy breath against my skin, sending a chill down my spine. Desperate, I tried to force my limbs to move, to break free from the grip of terror that held me captive. But it was no use. I was trapped, at the mercy of whatever nightmarish entity had invaded my mind. And then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, the figure vanished, leaving me alone in the suffocating silence of my room. I lay there, trembling, unsure if what I had experienced was real or merely a trick of my overactive imagination. Eventually, the paralysis lifted, and I was able to move once more. But the memory of that night still haunts me, a reminder of the darkness that lurks just beyond the edges of our perception. Sleep paralysis may be a natural phenomenon, but sometimes the things we encounter in the depths of our subconscious are anything but ordinary, 